to both Thomas and, and Simon for the overview of... Uh, yeah, it, 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 it sort of really does sound like it's here. And I, I do wonder in two years at the fair, you know, what, what will the landscape look like? Because it's moving very fast. Um, the, 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 I'll, I'll open the to, to questions in a moment. But I just, Thomas, could you give us a brief overview of where we are in the UK with, in terms of the law, the legislation around feeding to, to poultry? So, so where we are in terms of feeding to poultry is you can feed live to poultry, which becomes a bit of a logistical challenge once you want to feed a lot of birds. And that's primarily because we've not, it's, uh, it's tied into with the processed animal protein uh, in terms of legislation. So if that's enabled at UK level, and you can actually look at what the EU's done in terms of legislation, that could be adapted easily. And uh, we'd then be able to feed, for example, processed insects, so the meal, can be integrated into the layer pellet, uh, layer mash, or the, the broiler pellets, basically. And uh, what you can, and that's currently what you can do with poultry. You can use it in aqua feed, no problem, as a meal. That's been approved, and it can go into pet. But poultry is quite limited right now, only live. Thank you. Um, any hands in the audience? Any questions from from the floor? Yeah, gentleman there. Yeah, I think it's in one of the slides. It's still fairly early stages, but uh, you know we're, we're talking standards around 1.5 conversion. But we are, you know, depending on the climate, depending on the feed structure, you can make significant improvements on that. You know, the, the, the growth potential is significant. So we have seen 1.05, but I'd sit somewhere in the middle of that at the moment. And there's a hand uh, just in front of that one. It's the same question. <laughs> That's sufficient. Gentleman at the front. We've got a microphone, actually, if uh, it might make it a bit easier to hear. Um, I saw on one of the slides, presume there's a, a limit to the amount of waste material available. So you were mentioning there that there's a certain amount of cereal or other um, foods could be added into yes, the feed yeah, for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, that's something that we're, we're working on and we're, we're learning as, as we progress. We, well, what we see is, is the the structure of the feed has a, has a yeah. big role to play in this. You know, if you, you get that wrong, you, it can be too dry. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 well, you probably know more about this than I do. Uh, yeah, it's, it'll be structure, it'll be energy content as well. There's still a lot of work being, we're seeing it start up now with other companies trying to work out how, what the best diet in terms of nutrition is for bugs, because it's still early days in that respect. And, uh, sorry. Can you remind me of the question again briefly? Yeah, I was saying you, you're supplementing the waste possibly yeah, exactly. with cereal. Because, so, uh, I mean, my other point would be at some stage you probably run out of waste yeah, exactly. material. Exactly. So what yeah. we're seeing now actually, just last week, was the Food Standards Agency has opened up a bid for insect producers to grow uh, on non-permissible substrates right now. For anything, so I'll give you examples like catering waste. Uh, if you had a ham sandwich, which is very frustrating, even if it was a ham sandwich that no one had opened, you can't feed that to a bug right now because it's got animal protein in it. Uh, things like poultry manure, anaerobic waste digestate. So there's a range of materials right now which are non-permissible. And the FSA has actually asked, can you grow the bugs on these? Do the analysis and see, see what happens. Because the idea there is eventually we'll be able to broaden out to these materials which you might not have other uses for as much, or you can at least upcycle using the, the insect. Thank you. I, I would add that you know, when it comes to our insect feed, what you feed the insects yes. has a significant impact on the emissions. We see ammonia emissions, everything from zero to up to 250 ppms, which you're up in the composting area, which of course, then has a, a big impact on, on, on what you're allowed to do in terms of emission management and can. Um, so we see a, a yeah, unbelievable range at the moment. Yeah. Any more questions? Yep. Nice and easy. Um, so I can I assume that there's going to be permitting issues coming here. If you're using waste products, you're doing something. Is it going to be on certain scales that it's going to be yep. come under the EA um, permit okay. scheme? So uh, we're up in Scotland, actually, so we, we fall under SEPA. And uh, I know now that SEPA is basically drafting up what is probably the, fir the permit for the first insect protein production facility. And so there's that like framework been done. 
Uh, under the EA and DEFRA, it's, uh, there needs to be some revision there because uh, I think the closest analogous system is a maggot farming system, which is not exactly the same what Simon's shown you. It's a very different. This is biomanufacturing. Yeah. This is actual proper production. If you're growing stuff and having flies lay eggs in it and things like that, that's very different. And the, um, the, the kind of permit built around that is not fit for purpose for this. So there will need to be a bit of development there with the environmental agency. Yep. Anyone else? I wanted to, on the legislative bit, by the way, that we do have, so there are producers now which are kind of pushing for legislative change with respect to uh, pro insect protein being used in, in poultry feed. So I think, although it sounds like we're not there yet, it will, it will probably change over, I'd say, the next year, two years, uh, hopefully, because we are making that push as companies in the sector. Do we have any more questions from the floor at all? Can't see any more hands. No. So should we okay. should we wrap up? Is it, so we, we've covered everything in, in quite a short amount of time. And as we're I say, on stand 37, so if anyone wants yeah. to come afterwards and have an in-depth conversation, please do. Like I say, it'll be you know I think in two years. Well, it's happening now, but it, now. it's just developing, isn't it? So um, yeah, really interesting um, half an hour chatting with you guys and, and hearing Thank from you. you. Um, best of luck with it all. And uh, yeah, stand 37. Yeah. 37. 37. 37. There we go. Let's, let's make sure we reinforce it. Cheers. Okay. Thanks, everyone.